Okay, gonna be continu continuing in my videos on Nietzsche's *The Book of Zarathustra*. We're in part two, um, and we're in section two. Upon the Blessed Isles. Um, this one is largely atheist. It's largely the section is very um, against God, against um, created gods. Um, for you know, gods that the Overman might create, or for any kind of creation coming from the Overman, but against gods established in themselves. Um, <clears throat> and he says, thus, thus like figs, these these teachings fall to you, my friends. Now consume their their juice and their sweet meat. It is autumn. It is autumn about us, and pure sky. And afternoon, behold what what fullness there is, there is about us, uh, and, and out of such overflow it is beautiful to look out upon distant seas. Once one said, God, when one looked upon distant seas, but now I have taught you to say, over man. So he's kind of talking about this shift, you know, from when everyone recognized a, a God, one God, one established God, or another. Now we're now the new the, the the turning of the age is going to be the recognition of the overman or though or he who overcomes himself or overcomes man himself uh god is a is a conjecture but i but i desire that your conjectures should not reach beyond your your creative will could you could you create a god then then do not speak to me of any gods so he, it's almost like he's endorsing um, a god that is that is created or becomes created as a result of the other man's uh, use of his will then then do not speak to me of any gods but but you could well create the overman perhaps not yourself my, my brothers but into fathers and forefathers the overman you could recreate yourselves and let and let this be your best creation God is a, is a conjecture, but I, but, but I desire that your conjecture should be limited by what is thinkable. So again, he's going to go into, you know, talking about how God is a, is, a, is a mere conjecture, but he doesn't, you know, how, and, and, but although, you know, the old man can be a creator of a certain God, there can be nothing that, that transcends one's life or one's mind or this world. So he says, I desire that your conjecture is, should be limited to what is thinkable. So thus no transcendence, no um, things that go beyond us. <clears throat> could you think could you think a God? But this is what the will to to truth should should mean to you. That everything be changed into what is thinkable for man, visible for man, and feelable by man. You should, you should think through 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 your own senses to their to the consequences. And what have you called world? That, that that shall be created only by you. Your reason, your image, your will, your love shall shall thus be, be 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 realized. God is a conjecture, but who could drain all the all the agony of this conjecture without dying? Shall his faith be be taken away from from from, from the Creator and from the eagle, his soaring to 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 eagle heights? God is a thought that makes crooked all that is straight and makes turn whatever stands. That's pretty straightforwardly atheist. That uh, an idea of a transcendent, absolute, divine God makes crooked anything that is straight. Whatever in me has feeling suffers and is imprisoned, but, but my will always comes to me as my liberator and joy bringer. Willing liberates. That is, it. that is the true teaching of will and liberty. Thus, Zarathustra teaches it. But, but, but my fervent, fervent will to create impels me ever again toward man. And this is where he goes towards a point where I don't really understand. It's kind of difficult to kind of, kind of, to kind of get your finger on. But, but my fervent, fervent will to create impels me ever again toward man. Thus is the hammer impelled toward the stone. O men and the stone, there sleeps an image. The image of my images. Um, I, that was my phone, sorry. 
Alas, that, that it must sleep in the, in the hardest, the, the ugliest stone. Now my hammer rages cruelly against his prison. Pieces of rock rain, rain from the stone. What is that to me? I want to, pr I want to, pr I want to perfect it. For a shadow came to me, the stillest and whitest of all things once came to me. The beauty, the be beauty of the old man came to me as a shadow. Oh, my brothers, what are the gods to me now? This section has been that man himself. I think what's kind of what's kind of happening is what he, where he's where he's talking about how how he wants to he has a will to create um, how he wants to do that. Um, he kind of drives himself more towards himself, more towards man, and that's how a hammer smashes on the smashes on on the stone. So it's almost like man is a prison that he's trying to escape from, and that's truly really what the um, lower man is. It really is, you know, man trying is to escape from himself and overcome himself. Um, and this is also a very atheist section in that saying things that transcend or go beyond one's thought or oneself is totally crooked and wrong. And that one can create things much greater than any pre-established God that one could, you know, take, take, uh, uh, um, could, uh, basically hold, hold belief in. Um, so this is honestly a pretty neat section to read. Um, if you, if you think, I, if, you, if you think I left something out or said something wrong or explained something wrong, let me know in the comments below.